welcome to Gaspers. Mm. And if you've been listening to the other episodes, was that intro maybe a little bit different than the uh, other ones? Uh, uh, oh, I thought you were, <laughs> were going to like comment, but you're just... I gonna... was going to make a witch doctor joke after you went, ooh, ah, at the beginning. Oh, no, I interrupted it. You want me to do it again? No, it's fine. <laughs> I was just going to go, ting, tang. <laughs> I don't know that joke. Is that like a movie? Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Yeah. Make me feel like I'm going what, crazy What's a witch doctor, though? Like, what is, That's the remember. name of the song. I don't remember what it's from. What is it from, though? That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. It's it's just a song, one, but I guess it was in the Rugrats movie, and that's, like, kind you of what popularized it with I our generation. Like, I feel like there was, like, an older movie. Probably. Like I said, it's just a song. Great. I love I love just starting the podcast and already having to research something. Great. I mean, feel like you'll just be able to Wikipedia the song <laughs> Witch Doctor and you'll be able to find out what it was in. It's still just so inconvenient <laughs> for me. Anyway, welcome to Gespers. It's a podcast where me, Alex. And me, Mason. <laughs> both try to strengthen our relationship by reading each other's minds and there's only one rule in this house and it's no copyrighted material and for the record for the first week i finally was able to say no copyrighted material as opposed to no name branding which i kept saying for some reason yep i mean (laughs) that's essentially the same thing and now comes everyone's favorite part of the podcast, where I come up on completely on the fly a question that determines who gets to go first. Uh, the question is, um, I, ooh, ee, uh, uh, who's, who is the last person that watched a cartoon? Boom, I watched Tangled me... last week. I watched... Have you not watched Tangled at all this week? I watched a commercial. For that new movie, Connected. Yep, which That's you cartoon. sent to me, and you I would be going first, but I didn't watch it, so because I am. And that's it. You haven't seen any animation since then. Not scrolling on the social medias. You haven't seen any animation. Does a does a video game count? I mean, I watched. Does a video game? I watched I mean, Game Grumps. Video game animation. No, I think I'm talking like a cartoon. Like a cartoon? No. Connected is like a cartoon movie. No, I haven't seen any. I don't. I don't believe so. That means I get to go first. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted, if you wanted to be super technical, we both watched Inuyasha. But it, since we both watched that, we'd oh, have to shit. go back. And I forgot. Watch yeah, that, the, so. if we if we there's no doubles here. Yeah, no. So you you <coughs> get you okay? to go first. Mason keeps like putting his head in the crook of his elbow for some reason. I'm like, I'm like trying to mask my gross sounds because I feel like I'm very breathy and very. Like what are you, are sniffly. You, are you like breathing into your elbow? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> like doing all that, and like if I have to like exhale heavily, I'll like do it down here. Oh, I so see. it doesn't pick up. The microphone's so sensitive. Okay, no, we're not doing last week. We're doing a lightning round. We're doing more than four. That is what we said. That's what we promised. So I'm bringing, I'm bringing the gold. Bringing I'm sexy going, back. I'm going to the Olympics, and I'm bringing home the gold in mind reading. Okay. So you get to go first. And I've closed my eyes, and I've connected an image, and the image is going! All right, a golden lion. And when I say golden lion, I mean like he is he is encased in gold like those <laughs> guys in New York that act like statues. <laughs> Wait, yeah, real quick. Uh, is it a real lion? Yep. That has just been painted gold, or you said encased in gold, which is... Much more horrific than I, a live lion no, that's no, somehow no. been trapped in a gold sarcophagus. No, 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 no. I think you... Sorry. No, um, yawn counter. One. Oh, shut up. Um, I know. I was thinking, like, literally, like, he's been painted gold. Like those like those statue <laughs> dudes. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. No, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's just one of those. And he goes up. And he, like, walks out of the cave. And he, like, walks up all up to the whatever that rock was called in the lion king (laughs) and he walks up and he's just like (laughs) and like the gold dust just goes it wasn't even paint it was like powder they powdered him yeah gold yep um i'm trying to i'm reaching for you know what you know where i am i'm on a table and the table's really big and i'm reaching for those straws 
mm-hmm. but I can't get them. You're grasping at I'm straws. I'm grasping. Because uh, I was thinking about a tree, and the tree has many limbs. Like, like way too many limbs that look like super artificial. And on each of the limbs is like a wooden bird. So I guess it's kind of like a, a cuckoo clock. But like if every branch of the tree had a branch for another cuckoo. That it, sounds insane. Maybe that's where they get the cuckoos. They like go to the, the cuckoo tree and then they, they're like, here's your new home, cuckoo. And they like offer him a birdhouse. And then they trick him and he gets attached to a springing mechanism. And he becomes part of the cuckoo clock. And it's actually very morbid. That's... Oh. <laughs> now it's sad. That this this scenario reminds me of a clock that I used to have in my house. Is it was it a cuckoo clock? No, it was uh it was just a regular it was like a round flat clock and it but uh it had bir- different birds at each of the hour points mm-hmm. and at the hour it would make <laughs> it make that bird's sound. That used to be in my kitchen growing up. Are you, are you serious? Yeah. I love birds so much. How would you not tell me this bird related Because I don't. Childhood it's fact. not like something that I. I don't know. Just something about that. It's like the first time I've thought about that clock in years. Was it beautiful or was it like annoying? I mean, yeah, it was. It was nice. It. I. I, I never got tired of it. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. Were, were you like? <sighs> Songbird o'clock again. But no, like, no. And I, I really wish funny, I could hear Cardinal, but Cardinal's at like 3 a.m. Is young Mason didn't have the wherewithal to ever like memorize which bird was at what time. So I was just like, <laughs> hear bird sounds, and I never really connected them with a bird. I was just like, oh, it's the bird sound. I feel clock. like it would like Pavlov me, and I'd be like, huh? Oh, well, American woodpecker time. That means no more TV, and Alex needs to go to bed. And then I'd be like, I dream of the day I'd wake up in the middle of the night and get to hear the elusive wood finch. I feel like the woodpecker one, and you know what? I'm starting to remember a little bit more. So I <laughs> As remember, we talk, we divulge the memories. <laughs> I remember specifically there was a cardinal on there, but I can't remember what it sound, sounded like. I mean, you probably know what sound cardinals make. If you want me to recreate it, I sadly cannot. No, no. I, but I feel like the, they cheaped out on the woodpecker noise, and the woodpecker noise was literally just the woodpecking like, noise. Yeah. That I'm trying to think. I can't. There's like no service. Maybe like here. Let's see. I don't know if that'll pick up. Yeah, but it's like that, but like a thousand times faster. Yeah. But yeah, no, because I'm pretty sure that woodpeckers make a noise. <laughs> yeah, no, they totally. They have calls and stuff like that. They're just like other birds. They just peck on wood to get worms. Yep. They're just like all birds. Um. But yeah, no, I remember. <laughs> Let's just keep this ball roll. I'll try to roll it fast. Yeah. Uh, there was a very small museum in my town where I was born, and it had an upstairs, and, like, the only, like, claim to fame they had was they had stuffed, like, a million different bird species <laughs> because they were, like, such a baby museum. Well, they decided that every single stuffed bird, I'm talking there were, like, 2,000 stuffed birds, had a button where you could push the call. And one uh, time me and mom went totally rogue and pushed every single bird call button as fast as possible. And the cacophonous screaming that just erupted from this poor empty room because we were there like a weird off time was like so much that both of us were like, oh God, that was a bad idea. Such a bad <laughs> idea. Why did we do this? <laughs> <laughs> that. Definitely sounds like something that, that you and your mom would do. <laughs> that tracks. Yeah. All right, go. Does. No um, nonsense. Wait. This podcast is no. Oh, wait. Can I make one more joke? Yeah, sure. I'll, let, yeah. I'll allow it. Uh, the I jury's just, out. What? I just thought, like, wouldn't the jury it be. said yes. Okay, cool. I just... <laughs> Sorry. I didn't get the bit. That's okay. It's too late. Um... <laughs> it's, it, I was just thinking about that clock, and it'd be like, how funny would it be if, like, midnight was like a kookaburra or something like really loud <laughs> it's, like, like, it's like a mocking burn it's like, whoop, 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 and you're like oh my midnight god hits you, you're... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's a good kookaburra not kookaburra that's a good uh what the fuck bird did you say kookaburra i said kookaburra yeah isn't yeah. that the sound that they make yeah no that was really good it's like, arr, arr. I mean, it sounds like a laugh <laughs> yeah yeah it's an old gum tree. Yeah. All 
right, go. Okay. And go. It's like a Trojan horse, but it's like a unicorn. It's much more mystical and it's colorful. It's got pastels. I don't even know if they had pastels back then. So you're saying it's it's literally a Trojan, so it's a giant wooden... Giant fake wooden horse on wheels. But it's, but it's a, a unicorn, unicorn. <laughs> and they have painted it... Like pastel color. Pastel so it's like colors. white and its mane is like blue and yellow and pink, but it's all like pastels. Pastels. It's got big horn. <laughs> A big beautiful what do you unicorn. Think, uh, what do you think the the what was it the Romans? Yeah, I feel like they were full. I don't know. I feel like it was Romans fooling Romans. But no, it was it was the Tro it was the Trojans one no. that made the horse. Yeah, but it weren't Trojans just more Romans? Wasn't this all in Greek? This was in Greek Greece. mythology, right? So it was yeah. like Athens versus like. Yeah. So who who were the, who were the Trojans fighting? Uh, you're gonna have to look that up. Yeah, I'm mean, totally uh, gonna have to look that up. But I'm pretty you, sure it think... was like a Greek, a Greek sect versus a Greek sect. Yeah. What do you think the 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 opposing force would have done if fucking Achilles and them had rolled that shit up to the to the gates? I guess my real question is, did were there unicorns in Greek mythology or Roman mythology? Uh, well, yeah, well, right. Not in Greek mythology. I don't think there were unicorns in Greek mythology. Were there? Well, I mean, Greek Romans literally just ripped off the Greeks when it came to mythology. They're the same and renamed. I wonder if they were because there were uh, I think there were Pegasus. But were there unicorns? I don't know. That's a good question. Well, and now I'm gonna have to figure out the history of unicorns. And I'm just good, be good, like, good. Hey, you you did that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! I got your mind waves. <laughs> I got crashed like an ocean. I don't know whose mind waves you get. That would be like the plot twist of the century. It's like we're not ever guessing incorrectly per se. We're just like intercepting other thought waves. Well, I mean, there's so many people on Earth that what I'm thinking has to be what someone else is thinking, right? Well, especially in our immediate vicinity. We're, we're like... I mean, what's the last time I saw a unicorn? Uh, uh, th- uh, uh, three nights ago when we watched the best of Game Grumps where Dan was playing that one episode and he was looking for the unicorn. Uh, yeah, he didn't even see the unicorn. unicorn. And he just, just talked no, about it. No, he did. It. Remember he saw it for like one second. He was like, there she is. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. He like cut to it. Yeah. What yeah, were you thinking right. of? I was thinking of... <laughs> I was thinking of... It, it was like a portly man... Who was walking in a desert and he fell into a pit, but the pit was like a little too small, so he just kind of gets caught on his belly. <laughs> and he just kind of stuck, and he's like, Well, hope someone comes by. <laughs> oh, but he's in the desert. Yep. Oh, no. This poor fat desert man. I was inspired. I'm sad by this man. I was inspired in part by the episode of Broad City we just watched, where Alana falls down a manhole. I was thinking about the holes I'm gonna have in my mouth because I'm getting my wisdom teeth out in a couple days. <laughs> and Jack Black. That was my what? inspiration for the portly man. Is that? Like it's they the, look kind of like Jack Black. Yeah. I feel like if Jack Black fell in a hole, he would you would watch the like time lapse video where it would like cut back it. Kind of like that episode of How I Met Your Mother where they get um a five hundred miles or whatever the name of that song. What's the name of that fucking song? By the Proclaimers. Five hundred miles, the Proclaimers, yeah. Yeah, it's stuck in the tape deck and it goes from like at first they're like, Yeah, I love this song and then it's like I fucking hate this song right, like three hours later. Like, and then it rolls back around that. and I'm imagining like Jack Black stuck in the hole and he's like, Huh. Oh, well, if I just try really hard, and then, like, like cuts to, like, two hours later, and he's, like, passed out unconscious, and, like, two more hours later, he's, like, aggressively trying to get out of the hole like again. Jack Black could probably get himself out. <laughs> he's doing to. those kettlebells. We yeah. don't know what he's capable yeah. at this point. Shout Jablinski. out to Jablinski Games. <laughs> Jablinski, where's your... Vi- Every Thursday is becoming less and less frequent. Yeah, he's only uploaded one video in 20... 20- 2020 so far in 20 <laughs> in 20 days <laughs> um <laughs> what was that what I was it about 20 days that got you oh it made you forget yeah and i'm just trying to think of what i was gonna say now oh no oh, no was it about jack back at the kettlebell Jablinski? no it was before that him you said that he would could get himself out yeah 
Oh, it's just gone? Yep. Oh. Oh, well. well, I guess it's like my turn. Yeah, no, lightning ground. I guess me forgetting is providence so we bam, can bam, fucking bam, just bam. keep going. We're just chugging down this crazy train. If we get through another round, we will have done as many guesses <laughs> as we do, like, I, in the I entire mean, last episode. My goal for this lightning round is literally just surpass our week... At, week Weakest? I was going to say weak sauce, but ass came out of my mouth instead. Weak ass. And I didn't want to say weak ass, so I really tried to roll it back, but instead it just, just really just... pouring that vat of weak sauce on it. No, that sauce, it's Texas Pete. It's the saddest sauce ever. It's not spicy at It'd all. It'll still probably burn your eyes if you got <laughs> Who's pouring... T- That's just because the vinegar. Maybe a little <laughs> bit of the spices. I feel like it's mostly just the vinegar. Okay, I've closed my eyes. An okay. image has formed. The uh, image is going. Okay. All right. We've got a toothbrush. Okay. We've got so like ex- extra fine bristles. Okay. And you like brush your teeth and it's like a close up shot of those bristles really just getting in there and just scooping all so that just gunk, a, gunk out. Just a toothpaste commercial. A toothbrush. Oh, sorry, commercial. toothbrush commercial. Yeah, but like, isn't that sad? Isn't that like satisfying to think about? It's like, it, like it's so it's such a fine bristle, it can just <laughs> that, like get in there and just like. Whoosh. That one where they like show the like Sonicare toothbrush spinning around, it like shows the plaque just getting obliterated off of your Which teeth. Which is like not how that works. At I all. mean, it's kind of, but like the plaque isn't huge balls that just like fly off your teeth when you it's brush fucking them. Like magma bombs flying off Death Mountain. No, it's <laughs> fucking. That's a real reference-heavy episode. I mean, hey, that's from Breath of the Wild, by the way. If anybody wants yeah, to, yeah, like, Legend keep of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. What we're talking about. You get an insight into what we've been doing the past <laughs> week. <laughs> Our lives are so small and filled with media. Um. No, I was picturing a crystal deity, but it kind of looked like a furry, like a like a furry made of a uh, like a wolf persona, but Ooh. it was made of crystals. So it had like all these cool jutting crystals, and its eyes were like glowing crystals. And he's sitting upon a stone throne, not a crystal throne, a stone throne. Crystal on stone. The crystal deity on the st- or the crystal wolf deity on the stone throne. And, and I was I was about to reiterate like so it's it's a wolf, <laughs> it's a crystal wolf. You yeah, like a dog, like I don't know, wolf dog, whatever. That's crazy. Yeah, it's really cool, but it's like pink. I don't know if that makes it, like, less intimidating. Now I'm thinking about uh, Inuyasha. If, like, somebody came along and was like, sit, boy, would he just, like, shatter on the ground? He'd just, like, fall in. Crystals are tough. You ever, like, throw some crystals down? No. You ever, like, Beyblade with, like, crystals? Have you ever done that? Have you ever Beyblade? Have you ever let a rip with crystals? (laughs) Am I I damning myself if I say yes? Did I mean, I, no. If did you... I have a Beyblade court? No. In fact, I probably didn't even know what a Beyblade was until, like, way too you late in life. Let it rip. I had no idea how to let it rip. I had <laughs> no idea. I mean, if you said that to me, I'd be like, fart? Cool. I can do that on command, probably. Pretty sure I used to be able to do that. Yeah, me too. But I know. Why do you lose that ability? I can still burp on command, but I can't fart on command? It sucks. What's, what's why hilarious is I fart I wanna... all the time. You think <laughs> I'd be able to do it on command. I want to be as gassy as I was when a child that I could just fart on command. No, um, I, I'm, at me as most kids would buy the fucking rocks from the random shops. You know, they would sell like, the, put as many rocks in this little purple satchel and it's seven dollars. You know what I'm talking yep, about? I know exactly what you're talking about. And there's like a shit ton of about. rocks and they were all different. So I had like a fuck ton of those, except I knew, I had them labeled. And stuff like that. There's some vestigial, there's a bottle that of, like, Tiger's Eye and a bottle of turquoise in my, like, display case. I don't know if you've ever noticed them. It's, like, oh, yeah. one of the few gems I have left over from that. But, anyway, I had this book of geology. You know those big, like, they weren't, like, National Geographic, but those, like, really big books that had the big info pictures on them. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I can't remember I'm what like, brand I'm, they are. I know exactly. And they and it's it's like a the logo is like a D. You know, like it's like a red Maybe D. Maybe it's Discovery or something. Maybe. Like that? 
But it doesn't look like the Discovery but they were logo. Big. Yeah, yeah, but no, they were big books. Thick. They were like really thin. Oh yeah, and they would just be like, because yeah, they were because they were for children. This one's about sharks. This one's about the yeah. ocean. Well, I have one about rocks. And I the... think I had one about baseball. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they really had all topics. Yeah, I know. I love those. My... Where did those books go? They just I don't disappeared. know. Yeah, my first thought when you said that, and I know this is wrong, but I was just like, zoo books. Okay, no, it's definitely not. <laughs> zoo, zoo books book. were like magazines. Yeah, but they had those books about animals too. Though. Yeah, they had like a like different jaguar. Like... Yeah, it was fucking. And don't crazy. forget, you could get the jaguar calendar if you <laughs> call now. Was that that was like the promotion? You yeah, the you get the calendar. Yeah, and like a, a pack of stickers. God, I need to look up. Oh, that anyway, commercial. <laughs> the Zoom books commercial lost the annals of time. Um, but no, I used to like fucking throw down, see see if they were as strong as they said they were. And they were. Yeah, some of them weren't. No. <laughs> like the mirrored ones would get all messed up. That's like what you told me about. Sorry. We're on two or maybe three. I lost count already. Well, two audible ones anyway. Um, Don't think I can't see you. It's like when you, you, yeah, I know. It's like when you told me about, and this was just like a month ago, about what like a rock grinder is. It's a polisher. Polisher. Rock polisher. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it tumbles the rocks. Freaking and tumbles. I, and like the, the thought of that is just like crazy. So you just do that enough and then it just comes out smooth. I went to one of those like discovery stores and I really wanted a rock tumbler polisher or whatever. You can probably call them both. And uh, it was too expensive. It was like thirty five ninety five. And I was like, I don't have that kind of money. Mom don't have that kind of money. Nobody have that kind of money. And it was rock polisher. I'm I just know, staring fucking at it. rock polisher. Ah, baby's first microscope. Good memories. Anyway, Never had uh, you were wrong. I was going to be like, you almost had the bristles on the wolf, but like, it was a crystal wolf, yeah, so crystal there were wolf. no fur. Yeah. All right, Mason, you know what that means. Yep. It's your turn. It's my turn. And we'll have surpassed our last week's goal. Whoop, whoop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. All right. I'm formulating. I'm formulating. Um... Go. Imagining a pipe organ, but it's not in its like typical setting of like a basement or like the top of some stairs or something. It's just floating in some funky cosmos. There's like crazy swirls and shit in the background. It's like a pipe organ in another world. Whoa, what happens when you hit a key? It probably makes like celestial noises and it Does makes Does something come out of like, the pipe? Yeah, like dust clouds probably and it uh, probably instead of making like pipe organ noises it makes like whale calls. That's way like, I can't make a whale call, it sounds like a moose and I apologize. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good, although it also sounded like a melancholy pug. <laughs> <laughs> Please can I have some chicken? That one is my Uncle Steve. <laughs> After went... a few too many. <laughs> After a few too many. On Super Bowl minutes. Sunday. I don't even have an Uncle Steve. <laughs> Do you want to go for? You want to go for a three for? No, I now I'm just thinking <laughs> about making well noises. Now I'm just thinking about fucking the uh, fourth g- Star Trek movie that is what? lit. No, okay. It's pertinent, Cut, connect, and that's how please, stupid Star Trek Four is. Please connect these dots for me. So, okay, I know. All right, I'm just gonna boom. Spoiler alert for Star Trek's two through four, starting wait, now. Wait, which ones? The the original. Well, I guess the new ones haven't gotten to four technically. Yeah, no, we've only had three of Chris yeah. Pine. Yeah. <laughs> but no, this is original Shatner, Nimoy. Okay. Yeah. Rip. Uh, so obviously Star Trek Two: Wrath of Khan. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you've seen it, you know. If you haven't, you don't. Maybe skip like ten seconds. Now, Spock dies at the end. They hold hands. Spock dies. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they don't, don't hold hands. I know it's glass. Yeah. I know it's romantic. But yeah, it's it's awesome. Very homoerotic. But yeah. <laughs> very hot. <laughs> H-A-U-T-H. Star Trek 3, and this isn't a huge spoiler considering it's the title of the movie, Star Trek 3 The Search for Spock is about them looking for Spock because Kirk doesn't believe Spock is actually dead. Okay. Um, Star Trek 4, 
The Voyage Home is about they've found Spock. Now they are going home, but... But... There is... Space... Wait, what can I say? Yeah. Space whale? Space whale. Yes! There is a space <laughs> whale, and it is crying out, and for some reason, it's been a... I watched these movies in high school. They have to go back in time... Okay, you lost me. ...to do something so they can replicate... They need to find a whale call okay. because they don't have whales anywhere. I don't know how it works, but they have to go back in time, but to find the whale call, come back so they can play the whale call to the space whale and keep it from like destroying like any more stuff in space. Two branching references. Mm-hmm. One, what's his name? Maestro, Maestro, Maelstrom. Dead Mouse. What are you talking it's about? It's not even close. The whale in... Um, oh, whatever. Monstro. Monstro in Kingdom Hearts, where he's just in space and he fucks your shit up and eats you. Yep. Two, the episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog with the space octopi or squid or whatever they are, and they just want to find each other and they have want their babies. And both of those die. things to be influenced by Star Trek for the voyage home. Maybe they are. Who friggin' knows? And I want to say that I was on a hard quest to watch all Star Trek anything. And I watched that and I think I stopped. <laughs> it was so bad. You I, I honestly think I, I got, like, I was watching everything in Chronicle. I had, like, made a map so that I could, when I got to, like, Deep Space Nine and Voyager, I could, like, watch the episodes intermittently as they premiered on TV originally. Oh and I, after Star Trek IV The Voyage Home, I was just like, I could take a break from this. I just want to tell you, I mean, you guys probably already inferred from the fact that Mason watched 10 Children of the Corn movies. Yep. But, like, Mason always does this. He's always, like, watching shit in chronological order and making really complicated charts on how to watch stuff and blah 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 Go blah, ham. Blah. Go him? Go ham. Yeah, you go full... Pig, I would say, not in oh, the yeah. ham. You've gone oh, yeah. to the whole animal. Yep. You're feeding it slop. Sometimes it's in, sometimes it's awesome and it's really entertaining. And ninety percent of the time it's not. Uh, <laughs> nah. Hey, what were you thinking of? Hey, baby, what were you thinking of? I don't know why I saying that. So what was it? Okay, I'm going to have to have you j- j- well, kickstart my memory. I thought of what, the what, space organ. You thought of the space organ, yes. And I thought, oh, fuck. Oh, no, this would be a precedent if you could not remember the thing that you thought of. Yeah, no. No, this was, is like the one thing you're it, not allowed to forget. It was, it was really good, too. No. It wasn't that. Mason. I remember you were wrong. No. Close your eyes. Bring it back. We can't move forward in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a game. You can't. Move That's forward. not a game. <laughs> you can't move forward until you remember. Oh yes, 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 oh, yes. Oh thank yes. God. Oh God, the <laughs> podcast is safe. Mason found the lifeboats and the okay. flare. Okay, I gotta get it out before it goes away okay. again. I'm just dying okay. silent. So mine was actually yours was like trippy and awesome. Mine was like kind of eerie. Is a man sitting on a bench in like a really big park think like central or regents or you know wherever i feel like those are two wildly different sized parks but that's cool let's just keep going just like really big parks that are in big cities okay cool and he's looking out and there's no one else there he is sitting on a bench by himself in the middle of the day in one of these like parks that's in like a Oh, in the city middle like of the that. day. I was oh, going to yeah. say what time is it? No, it's like it's like 1 p.m. Oh, he's in a scary situation. Yeah. Like you that's that, those are places that are literally never empty. Oh, it's packed. Does that mm-hmm. bird still? Yes, there are still birds. Okay, so still animals, just humans have disappeared. Yeah, there are this no man, other people. This man has missed, what do the Christians call the thing where they all get sucked the up? The rapture? The, yeah. This man has missed the rapture, and hell on earth is just being alone. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but like, it's man, like... this podcast sad today. It's not like this is the end where it's like everything's hellish and there's like pits opening up and blood. No, nah, he's just there. Nothing's changed. Oh, bummer. Yeah. He's just going to go down to the bodega. he got to make his own sandwich now. Like, yep. just a big old badummer. 
Badummer, badunka dummer. Because of his big, dummy, thick ass. Yeah, it's, it's just... Nobody will hear those ass claps. Ass. He's just twerking Wait. in Central Park all by himself. I can get this out. Nobody will hear those ass cheeks clapping. God, why is that so hard to say? Uh, be, be, with his dummy thick thighs because he's all alone. Yeah. He's... What's the point in living? It's I am legend over here. Can you imagine though? Fucking... If Will Smith had a dummy thick ass? Well, who says he doesn't? I mean, I don't know what Will Smith's back. I genuinely looks like. also don't know what Will Smith's butt looks like. Wow, what a weird! I'm gonna have to Google Will Smith's butt tomorrow. I know, like you know, like most celebrity men, you like you like have a general idea of what they ask like. In, like in the Avengers movie, they even made a point to make a whole joke it's America's centered around ass. Chris Evans' butt. And I mean, hey, it's America's ass. But if what if we does take all the Will Chris Smith's butt look like. I, I want and I just want to okay so like we got we got we got the Chris's right that's yeah, like a that's Chris, like a Chris, thing Chris and Chris. we got yeah we got Chris Evans we got Chris Hemsworth Hemity. we got Chris Pratt we got Pretty Chris deep. Pine I don't Here know why go. people throw Chris Pine in there but they do he's got pretty eyes I mean, yeah head. sure <laughs> <laughs> but like so I I think it's pretty easy to say that the most like. Attractive type of man is named Chris. Well, yes, but like most <laughs> most people, if you like, who's the hottest Chris? I feel like a lot of people would say Hemsworth. But me personally, I think the best all around Chris has got to be Evans. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we can't personality. What a, what a what a guy. But personality is a big factor in what makes someone hot. Boom, I said it, mic drop. Uh, Y'all can just walk out if yeah. you don't agree. Yeah. What's the point if you're hot with no personality? Yeah, like, I'm not... He likes dogs? Uh, what more do you need? There's a whole movie, Must Like Dogs. Yeah, I don't want to drag any of the other Chris's, so I don't want to say what I was going to say. I mean, let it air out. Put that laundry Is outside. There, I, I just don't want to get that out there, and I don't want to, like, upset anyone. You... Really? <laughs> Are you ruffling feathers with the opinions on how you don't like one of the Chris's? Well, it's just like, okay, so... Oh, so like, no. Chris, Chris Pratt, right? Like, we all... We, when when Guardians came out, ooh, boy. Oh, Chris Everybody Pratt. Everybody on the Pratt train. Mm, Jurassic World. Mwah. Chris Pratt. And then it's like, I don't know, he... He got divorced from Anna Ferris, and so that stuff came out, and he's Within like... Within six months, he was already engaged, engaged to, to someone Miss else. Von Schwarzenegger. Yeah, and he's like... And, you know, this is okay. I'm not saying that it's bad to be really... But he's, like, really religious. Hard and I'm to just follow like, on Instagram. Yeah, and so it's just like... He stopped being... He stopped being as hot to me. I liked when he was big and fat and wearing his America shorts like, on the beach. I like Andy Dwyer, Chris Pratt. I mean, that's what... That's not, like, who he was, but, like... Well, but I like that era of Chris Pratt. Andy Dwyer through... He was so down to earth this is the man who when asked how it went for his diet for guardians of the galaxy took a microphone and went don't do what i did eat a donut and i feel like today's chris pratt won't say that yeah he wouldn't say eat a donut yeah whereas chris evans out here like just being like i got a dog i I got a dog. dog look at how cute this dog is also fucking things that are bad are bad I've got Don't great do bad political things. views. Yeah, I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah, and he's just he's just a good dude. Good dude. I, Chris Evans, like like oh man, when he was when he played a dick in Knives Out, I was like oh man, this range. is like range. Yeah, because you're like you're like this is this is America's ass right here. No man, Chris Evans. Chris Evans, like like who doesn't who doesn't like Chris Evans? I mean, what's wrong with? Chris Hemsworth, he's got good personality. Oh, no, Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth, okay. Helping Australia? Like, he's doing his part. Kind of, I don't want to say surprisingly, but, like, kind of surprisingly, I would give Chris Hemsworth the funniest Chris Award. Chris Hemsworth is a fucking riot. Yep. I, like, And how's the tree? Chris Pine. I mean, he's just a tree, right? Are we talking about Chris... 
Which, which are yes, we still on Hemsworth? Yes, we're still talking about Chris Pine. Because I'm thinking now. I'm thinking about the Vine. Well, yeah. Chris I mean, Pine. that's the joke. Yeah. For sure. But no, I'm just saying. Like, I don't know anything about that dude. I don't know anything. How does he feel about dogs? <laughs> Is he funny? I genuinely have no idea. I don't Is know anything. Is he funny? Is he Australian? <laughs> I don't know any of his personality traits. Yes, I'm saying Australian is a personality trait. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know anything about Chris Pine. He seems seems fine. He's got eyes. He was a good Steve he Trevor. Can see? And he was uh No, he was an okay Steve Trevor. Well, you if say you that saying... like Steve Trevor is anything more than okay at any given moment. God, I love him in DC Superhero Girls, the new one where he's 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 literally just the color beige. Yeah. He even shops at a store called All Shades Beige. And that to me is like, like, okay, yeah, sure, he was okay as Steve Trevor, but Steve Trevor's just okay. Therefore, to me, he was a good Steve Trevor <laughs> in Wonder I just, Woman. I just, I, I just can't see anybody standing next to Gal Gadot or Wonder Woman and being like, yeah, it's yeah, kind of that. the point of the Steve Trevor character. It's just unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you went. I go? Now it's your turn. Yes, we need to move forward. Yes, we need to move forward. We'll move. Try to get another round in. Ding, 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 ding. You hear that? It's the dinner bell. Come to the table because I've got ESP for you. Sweet. It's going. It's already there. Oh, you already did it? Oh, yep. Yeah. It's, it's oh, happening. Shit. Okay, so, all right. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking titties. Uh, oh. Big Honkin' bajangas. A big honkin' bajangas. Tasteful. They're in like a really nice, like, like pinup girl style. Brossier. Bustier. Yes. Bustier. Corset. Yes. yes. Think like Betty Page style. Okay. Bustier. Uh huh. And they're just having a good time. <laughs> you know oh wait, wait. Are mean? they like assy McGee? Yeah. They're just like a tits, yeah. They're titsy they're McGee? sentient. They're sentient tits. And they're just they they could be they could be at the beach, they could be at the club. You don't know because it's just those. It's I mean, just they just those. gotta change. They gotta be at the club. They gotta wear a, like a really skimpy bra and then like a mesh shirt. Yeah. They wanna be at the beach, bikini top. I feel like you could think about the style of brazier that I was describing and kind of apply any type of bra to that situation like bikini top like I'm pretty sure Betty Betty Page wore like a bikini top you can like imagine I mean she totally did I mean she yeah. sewed her own clothes yeah yeah that was my guess it's a, it's a pair of pair of sentient titties assy McGee style although they <laughs> they can speak that their their speech doesn't come out as like weird fart noises oh, mixed with god. words oh god I blocked that part out and now I've been faced with the memory of it great Really, yeah, really adult, wanted to remember. Adult how Swim Assy is a giant farting. bag of misses with like f- maybe five or six hits kind of floating at the top. It's so crazy because the hits like literally boost them and make them keep existing. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're fantastic. Like, for, for, every, <laughs> for every Rick and Morty. And Aqua Teen Hunger Force, we have uh, your pretty faces going to hell, kind of lurking in the depths. For, I don't for even every, know what that is. For I every, think that says something. For every, um, <laughs> for every uh, Tim and Eric awesome show, great job, and Eric Andre show, we have a we have a twelve ounce mouse lurking in the depths. Wasn't that one of their opening shows? 12 ounce mouse yeah no 12 ounce mouse came out a little bit later and i personally at the time thought it was great i thought that i was fever dreaming it the first time i watched it as i feel with most uh adult swim shows when i see them the first time you know what but... i thought was a fever dream what is that baking thing too many cooks too many cooks okay so i i love my too many cooks story because yeah, i could have i could have l- literally been hallucinating when it happened that's how like crazy my too many cook story is my real quick i just want to say it i love that people have too many cook stories 
because it was such a guerrilla warfare on like it everybody. It just dropped. It just happened. Anyway, please go. I uh, so when I was in college, um, I had a little little tube television in my room in my dorm room. And I would just have it on all the time. If I was in my room, my TV would be on no matter what I was doing. I was I could be on my laptop. I could be literally doing anything else, but my TV would be on in the background. And so I liked Adult Swim. I liked it as background noise. I put it on my late nights where I was just fucking around and with my guitar or whatever. And um, so a commercial comes on. It's like Toomey Cooks, and I thought it was like a weird bump. Adult Swim <laughs> does weird bumps, and I was like, yeah, sure, this is this is kind of funny. And so I was just kind of on my laptop, Google searching or whatever, maybe writing a paper. And I, about like three minutes in, I was like, that's a really long commercial. <laughs> And so, I, and then I I would I let like another maybe minute and a half go by, and I and I just kind of stopped what I was doing, <laughs> and I looked up, and it, you know by minute five of too many cooks, things are starting to get a little, a little weird, <laughs> and I, I I remember I like got up. And I walked over to my and I opened my door and I like looked outside. Of into the like the living space of my dorm room to see if everything was normal. I was I, I wanted you thought to, the matrix had broken. Yeah, I I thought that I had like busted through time, fucking Kurt Vonnegut stuff. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Oh my god! And to make sure that I was okay and like I wasn't. Our stories were almost really similar, but I didn't think that I had busted through time. I, I, I was just, because I, I was very confused, and I was al- I was alone, dead alone in my room, and it was, I was like, what is it? It was, it was the like, middle of the night. It was the yeah. middle of the night, it was like 1230. Yeah, it was the middle of the night. And, and so I just, I like went over to the other side of the, of the dorm room to where my two other roommates stayed, and I like put my hair up to the door to see if I could hear our, our friend who snored a lot at the time. He like I would see him snoring, put my ear up to the other door and I heard our my other roommate like with his TV on, he was probably asleep. I just went back into my room and I was like I, I think I guess it's fine. Yeah, I guess it's fine. This is just something that's happening. And then over the course of the next couple months, I started slowly realizing from word of mouth that this was just something that Adult Swim did. I, I like... <laughs> oh my god, Mason, why did you harbor these feelings for so well, long? Well, because I, no, I, thought I, I thought I was going crazy. I, I, li- I had no idea. I, I was so, honestly, a little scared when it was happening because I was just like... Because it, it is. By the time it's over, it's, like, scary. What's happening in Too Many Cooks by, like, minute eight you're, is, like, a horror film is playing out. Oh, my God, May. <laughs> it was so... That would be such a great horror movie, though. It's, like, you're chilling in your room and your TV just blinks, but it's just repeating the same commercial, and you're just like, something's wrong. Yeah, well, and because, like, you know, I thought... What it was, because my first thought was, like, maybe the broadcast is screwed up, but, no, different things were happening. It wasn't just, like, the same batch of footage it's just playing over. It's the Things were happening on the video, and I was like, oh, no, this is something. <laughs> so, so mine is almost identical, and we are probably just, like, literally buildings away from each other. Same college. I'm sitting in my room, I'm reading a book in the middle of the night, I don't even know what, and I, my TV was on for background noise, and I hear it come on, I'm like, man, this song kind of catchy, too many cooks, Cooks. too Too many many cooks, cooks. so I'm just reading, I'm like, too many, man, it is too many cooks, because it is definitely (laughs) still going, and so I like, finally look up, and I'm at like, minute three at this point, and I'm just like, what the fuck is this? It's not stopping. This obviously isn't a commercial. So I, but it's not a show either. I, like, changed the channel, and I was like, okay, other channels are fine. Never even thought to do I that. went back to Too Many Cooks, and I was like, wow, this is super annoying. So I just changed it. I was like, I don't know what's happening. I'm not into it. 
And then immediately the next day, I think I saw Drew first. And I was like, Drew, you know about this friggin' Too Many Cooks thing? And he was just like, yeah, Adult Swim did this crazy thing where they showed Too Many Cooks. It was crazy. And I'm just like, okay, cool. That was weird. I, I never... <laughs> I'm so much more open than you. You know, I, I didn't even think ever to change the channel. I think I was maybe too afraid that I would change the channel and it would just still be too, too many, many cooks. Oh, wow. That just would be Just so on fucking every scary. other station. Can you imagine if Adult Swim bought every commercial time for Too Many Cooks at the same time and Too Many Cooks? So, like, if you did change it, it would still be Too Many Cooks? Because I, cause I did... It was like... It was like... You've never seen Videodrome, but like to anybody out there who's seen Videodrome, it, 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 it was this moment in time... Where I was like, this is probably happening to everyone else watching Adult Swim right now. <laughs> but I have no way to prove to myself that this isn't just happening to me. <laughs> I'm the one who's broken. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> this is a scary podcast tonight. I don't like this scary oh, podcast. Oh, but it's not like... Okay. The past ten minutes have probably not made much sense to you if you have never seen too many cooks. <laughs> so you should probably go look up too many. Go cooks. look up too many cooks. <laughs> if you see a short version, it's not that one. No, yeah, that look that, for that one that's those, as long as like a thirty-minute episode. I was gonna say that YouTube video needs to have at least four numbers in it. Yeah, in its runtime. Sure. I think. Well, I think they all have. At least four numbers. Well, no, because time. it's got to be at least over ten minutes, adding that one, which is a fourth digit. It doesn't do like zero six four. Well, it might, but that doesn't like count that. as a digit at that point a because it's a, well, it's a, a zero leading is zero. Not a number, I see. Yeah, in math, a zero is not a number. Yeah, okay, unless okay, it okay. unless it follows another number. Following all of these fucking cooks and just like twenty minutes talking about too many cooks, which is. As many cooks as they deserve. Do you want to know what I actually thought about? Because I don't even remember what you thought what I thought oh, about. What did you shit. think what I thought? I don't remember anymore. You don't remember what you think I thought I thought I did? No, I was lucky enough to remember what I thought about last time. You think I well, remember my wrong guess? Your luck is my luck because I do remember what All I right. thought about. I just don't remember what you thought about. You ready? Yeah. Sea urchin dinner party. It definitely wasn't that, so I'm pretty sure I was wrong. They're all under the sea, and they got their little table family style. Maybe it's Thanksgiving. Oh. I don't know if sea fish celebrate sea Thanksgiving. I'm just saying, I'm just, that's the, the like big group of fish under the okay. sea. Okay. They each have their own little table, but you know sea urchins, they don't really got faces, so they just kind of look like spike balls and Can I ask chairs. a question? And one of them is kind of like, and it's like, can you pass the potato salad? And the other one's like, no, I can't, bloop, 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 because it doesn't have arms. Because have they're question, just sea urchins. I have a question. Okay. For, like, solid objects, can they just use their pokey bits as a fork and just, like, Oh, my God, I hope so. Pick it up. I'm pretty sure they have the the spikes so that predators don't eat them. <laughs> pretty sure that's what the actual, well, they actually. they can like, use it to is. eat their food. Oh, and imagine being served a Caesar salad and it's just stabbed out of a sea urchin. Oh, oh it's, it's so cute. Is. Oh shit, it is, isn't it? Holy, oh no, oops. You gotta well, pee on the wound. <laughs> well, my poor new sababo or whatever you want to call my modern restaurant. Has put me out of business. Sabaro, I, I feel like Sabaro would probably have some have well, some words to speak Well, it's not spelled like that. It's spelled S O B A B R O. Sabaro. Sabaro. The B is silent. Sabaro. <laughs> no, the B is silent. Why would you immediately pronounce the B? I don't remember Sorrow. the word I said. <laughs> Agony. I. Desperation. It. I'm making a joke about all those places that have stupid names like that South Park episode. Uh... Yeah, my, my hipster restaurant that doesn't use plates but instead uses sea urchins, <laughs> which then inadvertently poisoned all of my customers, was the joke that I was trying to make. Oh, uh, that was a good episode. You're just laughing about the episode, I'm laughing about the thing No, you your did. thing is really funny. It's just unfortunate. I feel like I really should have done more research before I did this. What are you talking about? How do they make potato salad under the sea? 
It's hard. How do they make anything in the end of the sea? Oh, how they... They try to use any spice, it just dissolves into the... (laughs) Pass the salt! No! And it just becomes, like, really... Well, I guess it's already ocean water. Yeah, so it's already really salty. Oh, everything's over-salted under the sea. What if it... What if it... What if... What's the word for when, um... You've poured as much things that could be dissolved in a given liquid and it stops dissolving and just starts collecting at the bottom. Wow. What's the term for that? You hit me with a science question way too late in the day. It's like, it's like saturated, soluble, something like that. Well, so I'm just thinking about like if your cell takes up too much like water and it like bursts. So you get over it. I don't even know the word for that right now. Wow, yeah. I can't science major at this point. But like, I wonder if that would happen. I wonder how much salt you would have to pour into the ocean before the salt stopped absorbing into the ocean and just started collecting. That's gotta be a fuck ton of salt. Salt, see, the ocean's so salty. So salty. Anybody be like, bitch, you so salty. And you'd be like, no, you know who's salty? The fucking ocean. How about the Dead Sea where you can float on it because there's so much fucking salt in it it just doesn't let you sink don't sing what was that don't sing is it a song don't sing i know what you're thinking i don't i don't think those are the words don't tell me because it hurts that's because all the salt gone in her paper cut she had a paper cut when she jumped into the ocean oops now she has a disease. Open Ah, uh, Gwen Stefani, no. Gwen, no. I don't know where she's been. I haven't seen her in 30 years. Yeah. Ever Probably. Since she stopped being, ever since she, was it, married Blake Shelton. Is he still around? Yeah, he's on The Voice still, I think. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Do you know what turn it is? It's yeah, your I'm turn. I'm pretty sure this will be the last turn. I'm not 100% positive we, how long we've been going. but It's Mario Party. The text graphic is flashing. It says, last turn. Woo. Oh, you better so get those stars. It's good. Because it's the last turn. All right. Hit and... me, baby, one more time. Go. I am picturing a magnificent eagle. He soars through the air and then dives into the water and he comes out with an Atlantic salmon. And then he eats it, I guess. That's majestic as fuck. Big eagle, big Does Does this Is the salmon jumping out of the water and does he come down and like grab it? No, mid-air? I mean, it, the eagle do that thing where they like dive into the water and they get the oh, have fish you ever seen out of the that water happen in like slow-mo oh, i like, thought you were like gonna say in real water. life and i'm like oh i wish i have seen an eagle no, pull like, a like, fish like, out of the water in like real an, life like an underwater cam and you like see the eagle like have oh you God. ever seen that kind of footage where is this footage and show it to me now i think i, have, I think i've seen like footage of like a bird like underwater going into the water of what that looks like when they go Shut under up. and grab POV underwater, though. I don't know about POV. That's the way you described, though. You said an underwater shot where you see it get the fish. Now, oh, that's yeah, the kind like of thing. Oh, yeah, like POV from like say, a person. Oh, yeah, like you know. You're the one who said this. You're the one, well, think about it underwater. And I was no, like, I thought have you, you ever seen like, that? I thought you meant like POV from the eagle's perspective. And no, it's like, no. What the fuck? I'm sure they've strapped a GoPro to an eagle and I can see that footage. I want to see the footage from the water. I think I've seen, yeah, I thought it was in like some kind of documentary where you see like footage of a... Underwater. Um, yeah, what that looks like when they like go under and grab the fish. From underwater. I don't know, I got suspicions. I feel like nature documentarians have been able to catch, because it, like, it happens so often. But the water's always dirty. I feel like, how are they going to know where the fish is? How are they going to know where to zoom in? I feel like... so many variables. I feel like that's something I've seen. Oh, God. Now I'm going to look up nature documentaries and the history of unicorns and, like... Don't try too hard on the eagle thing. Like, I could be wrong. (laughs) Underwater view of eagle getting fish. Pornhub.com. Oh, no. But uh, what I was thinking of was... You were wrong, by the way. Um, Big brown cock goes deep into water to get frisky little fish 
Pornhub.com. <laughs> mm. Just thinking of, so like, what is it? It's a gopher in Caddyshack, I think. Okay. But like that, yeah, like a gopher. Okay. And it's like burrowed its holes all around. And there's uh, uh, a man who's trying to flush out the gopher. But instead of like flushing water through his like tunnel system. Okay. He uses candy. Does it? I feel like the gopher would just be like, sweet. And then just like dig new holes to like vent the candy into a deeper burrow. And then he'll just eat it, yeah. But then but then it works because then he gets too fat to move around in his holes. And and full circle, it's the fat guy from the beginning who was stuck in the desert. Oh my god. He took a wrong turn at Albuquerque and now he's in the desert. Yeah. And I wait, 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 I wanna do a good one. Woo. I'm into those good audible high fives. Yeah. Oh no, Fat Gopher. Fat Gopher. He's not all right. Uh, Everybody who watched Caddyshack like... knows that joke. Yeah, I've never seen Caddyshack. I don't know that joke. The Kenny Loggins song. I'm all right. Yep. Don't nobody worry about me. That Gopher's not all right. Because that song the Gopher dances to in Caddyshack. What the Gopher? Right. Every fact I learn about this movie truly makes me more and more confused about the like premise of this movie. Because I, I just get like the weirdest tip that's like this. Like the Gopher dances to Kenny Loggins? What the fuck is yep. he, Olin Rogers? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah movie, that song don't was Don't say yes movie. like you... Fuck off. Really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think, I think it's like, I'm alright theme from Caddyshack or something like that. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love what I learn in this podcast. I just keep thinking about the part of the song where he just goes, oh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Wow, that was really good. <laughs> Kenny Loggins would be proud. Uh, yeah, what I'm would sure. you do if Kenny Loggins was your dad? <laughs> die. <laughs> die? <laughs> you would just die? Wow! Well, if Kenny Loggins was my dad, then I'm pretty sure my mama would dance and my daddy would rock and roll. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass! It's so fucking funny! <laughs> <laughs> it was like an onion of funny, and I just kept feeling the way it was back, and you dumb piece of shit. It's so Funny. Wait, is my mom Messina? Now that one I don't get. Because it's, it's Loggins and Messina. I don't know what that's Messina your, is. That's the woman who sings on Do Mama Don't Dance and Your Daddy Don't Rock and Roll. Wait, 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 wait. That's Kenny Loggins? Yes! I didn't know that was Kenny Loggins! I thought that's why you thought it was so funny. I don't just like that song. <laughs> and I just like the thought of your mom. Not dancing and your dad not like it rock and roll. <laughs> Which both of them do. Though both of them. Because mom's like, your mom likes dancing and your dad likes rock, rock and roll. roll. Yeah. But yeah, no. Oh like, my god, this is, I'm learning so many things about Kenny Loggins well, I today. Made the joke. Well, I thought I knew what the name of this episode was going to be, and now I'm not so sure. <laughs> Kenny Loggins has really fucked up the, the flow of what was going I've on. I've got to name this episode Loggins for sure. Oh my god, Baskin Loggins. <laughs> 31, 31 taste tests of different Loggins. Oh my god. Wait, I've got it. Toothbrushes. Yes, you were talking about toothbrushes yep. earlier. Remember those toothbrushes where you're, you would while you brush your teeth, it would send musical waves into your brain? Oh my god, can I brush my teeth to danger zone? There's 31 of them. 31 <laughs> different Kenny Loggins songs that you could brush your teeth with, and there would be the music in your brain, but it's also ice cream. I like one of the, the one of, I don't, I would like hate for that one kid who gets the like 29th. Kenny Loggins, because like not okay, nothing against Kenny Loggins, but I can't, I can't think of thirty-one Kenny, Kenny Loggins songs. Gotta have thirty-one songs though <laughs> for sure. Some of the flavors aren't as popular, but you know what? Sometimes people are like, give me a little taste, and it's that's where like, you get the ten-second like iTunes sample. Yeah, well, that's like well, that's, iTunes doesn't exist anymore. It's like you know the, I mean. the kid who gets like the Kenny Loggins song that was like track seven off of his like ninth album. Kenny just, Loggins, like, trash loving. <laughs> and the kid's like, oh, this one's sour. I don't, I don't want this one. <laughs> can I, mom, can I just, 
Can I get can I get Footloose, please? Please, <laughs> Mom, I just really want Footloose. <laughs> everybody cut, everybody cut. Everybody brush, everybody brush. Oh, why is it a different lyric set? Everybody brush. <laughs> is the kids' bop version? That's the sorbet. Well, because you're brushing your teeth. So there's two. You can get regular Footloose, or you can get like the dairy-free sorbet Footloose, which is like a kids' bop version of Footloose. Kenny Loggins, if you're out there, hit me up. Let's start a Baskin Robbins franchise. Oh, Baskin Loggins. Baskin Loggins, that is so good. We could have the flavor of the month. Is it the danger zone? Is that the I don't know what it is, but I got to go with that Baskin Loggins theme and think it's some sort of like bark flavored ice cream. That's awesome. Well, we didn't get anything right today, but we sure had a lot of fun. Aren't you happy if you just got through all of the podcast to this really great bit about Kenny Loggins? Just like right at the end. It's like you've been eating a sandwich this whole time is okay, but you were saving that one center beautiful bite. I know. I was I was like really, really worried because I was like, man, we spent like 15 minutes talking about too many cooks. And I just don't know how this is going to come back from that. I don't that. know how and, be funny again. and then and then boom kitty loggins rushes in to but save the day he just swept in on his helicopter like fabio is that the guy's yeah, name yeah fabio we did learn it fabio, was fabio and just whisked us away to the danger zone yeah well i'm mason i'm alex and guess what your ears are about to listen to you'll find out now yeah! Woo! This is where they're guessing 